This is version 2 of my 25 caliber steel BB cannon that I first showed in a video about a week ago. There's been some major changes made to this little air gun, so let's have a look at them. As you can see, this uh, air gun now has a wooden stock as well as a wooden hand grip. Also, let me zoom in, I've put the electronics inside the hand grip firing switch as before. The cannon also has an on-off switch now. The two LiPo batteries are now held inside the wooden forestock. This makes everything a lot cleaner and neater looking. Now the function is the same as in the previous video. I have a QEV piloted by a solenoid valve. The solenoid valve is still controlled by a 555 one-shot timer circuit. And uh, this little hole here allows screwdriver access to uh, adjust the pulse width of the 555 circuit, allowing me to determine how long the solenoid valve stays open. There's an LED mounted there, a white LED that gives a flash of light for each firing pulse. Sort of like so. I hope that light's showing in the video. I guess I'll find out when I review this clip. Here I've laid the air gun down so that we can see the uh, battery cover plate here held on by three screws. There's two LiPo batteries in there. Uh, keeps them out of the way and neat. Well, the next question would be, uh, does it still shoot hard? What I have here in the center of the screen is two pieces of white painted aluminum, 40 thousandths of an inch thick each, one behind the other, vice grip to the edge of a five gallon garbage bucket. I'm going to fire a 25 caliber steel BB at the middle of these two pieces and uh, it should pierce both if all is uh, working properly here. Let's find out. In this view we can see the breech. It's in the closed position right now. I'll slide it open here. And we can just see the port that allows uh, the steel BB or one of my uh, brass penetrator rounds to be loaded in there. And then the cover slides back into firing position. Well, let's bring this thing up to pressure and test it out on those two pieces of aluminum that I showed a moment ago. One of the cannons nearly at pressure. I'm going to fire it to 350 and fire. So, did we get a hole through both pieces? Let's uh, zoom out a wee bit, release the vice grips, and yes, the 25 caliber steel BB easily penetrated the two layers of aluminum, leaving a very clean round entrance exit hole. Let's see if we can get a shot over the chronograph at 350 PSI with the steel BB. Hmm. 
614.8 feet per second for that test shot out of the new version of the 25 caliber BB cannon. Not bad. And I can run this thing up to 500 PSI if I want more velocity. But anyway, that's all for now. Further updates to come. Thanks for watching.